Hey Cheevers, so I thought it was only fair I give you a quick update. It's been a while unfortunately. Life has caught up with me. I'm really, really busy trying to work out Christmas and stuff like that this time of year. What can you do? Kids are on school holidays as well, so it makes it hard to do live feeds and stuff. So I'll try and do one tomorrow morning. But the reason for this video is twofold, an update and to inform you all that there's 5% off batteries. Thousands, tens of thousands of them probably. For this weekend only, get on there. I have a link sort of put up here for you. Click the link and off you go. Okay, what else have we got? I'm still unsure on, on what I'm going to do with all these cells. I'm, I'm going to install them and stuff, but I don't know whether I'm going to spot weld them or not. Look, I've been given a lot of stuff late, well, a little bit of stuff from Banggood. Uh, and after I finish with the spot welder, I'm going to do a giveaway on it. I don't know how it'll work. Um, I'll post it worldwide, and you know how I ho hate posting, so that'll be good. So at least it'll pass it on to somebody else. And I'll throw in the, the welding things and whatever else, and you can have a play with it. So, I've also got the antimatter obviously from them, however that has blown up, but once that blew up I ordered this. So, and this is all sponsored product, I have not paid for any of it. Uh, I ordered a, um, a rework station, a twofold because my rework station failed in the workshop and I needed something um, quickly to get me back up and going again. So they were kind enough to shoot that over to me fairly quickly. The problem with this, I was going to do an epic unboxing video, right? You know, you should do an unboxing video when you do these sorts of things. Unfortunately, this is the box it come in. It was, at, this is, this is exactly how it all come apart. The only thing holding it together, and it was poorly at that, was the bag around it. It's just damaged to shit. And I don't know, I mean, the, the cardboard is thin. It is terribly packed. I have used it. I've done two PlayStation 4 repairs and they work well. Um, I've repaired some of the rises on my mining rig. It, it does what it should do. I was just very disappointed with the packing and how it arrived. Uh, I also, there was supposed to be half a dozen of these and I only got two in the package. So, But that doesn't worry me because I've owned a couple of these before uh, and I do have them up on the shelf. So the, the package was so broken they're all missing. Uh, what else we got? I got a nice big TV up there. A customer gave it to me, Hisense. And it's got lines all the way up the middle of it. And unfortunately it doesn't work properly. Fortunately, I found the part, and that's on the way from the US. So that's going to look awesome with the bait trim sitting up there every day. Uh, what else we got? Um, now, uh, apart from Christmas and all the rest of the other stuff that's going on in my life right now, Bitcoin mining, uh, I said I wouldn't get back into it, but geez, I'm loving it. Uh, and it's not about making so much money. It's about the challenge of overclocking the cards. I picked up a gig where I can overclock a bunch of cards and get paid for it, which is just awesome and work out all the settings and get them stable and all that sort of stuff so I'm really 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 enjoying that uh, my rig here, this is my personal rig that I built now this is pulling about 500 watts, I can't show you but it's about 500 watts with three cards, about 650 with four cards I had it with four cards but because I'm using everything second hand well, the rig's new the cards are all new so I've got five cards in total and I'll show you how the rig in a second but the motherboard's second hand and that's an old it's, not even, it's only a Core 2 Duo or something. Secondhand memory. I stole the power supply out of my um, my editing computer and my work computer as it turns out. Uh, all the fans are secondhand. So this rig, as well as this rig, and this is an old i7 motherboard where there's a bunch of old memory just mixed and matched. And we got one card there and to keep it cool we got the second card out there. And because we're only running a little 470 cheapy power supply, I've got a 1200 watt server power supply outside. Now those cards cost me about two grand in total. And as you can see from underneath my bench, there are a lot of cells missing and I had to sell up all my cells and then a lot more stuff, prom I promise you, to actually buy those cards. So uh, I've got a bunch of those left. I've got another 20 kilowatt hours of um, tags or whatever you call them cell holders so I don't know we, we might we might get some more done I don't know yet uh, what else we got power shed Ooh, power no we don't need power shed at the moment we need to walk in here that's a lot and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say they're not full so if anybody wants to break in there's nothing in any of them they're all the empty boxes what I was thinking about doing is was was cutting out the front of the box 
and then throwing them up onto my back wall up there and making like a collage out of it or something. It is school holidays and the kids would probably like that. Um, I've still got 14 cell holders left, my 18650 mounts. If anybody would like them, they're more than welcome to come and grab them. I would love to sell them to you. Down in the power shed, we have got another Bitcoin mining rig and we will move the mouse while we wait for that to turn on. And that is, I believe that's an even older computer. That may even be, oh no, it's DDR2. That is a DDR2 board, so it's, it's not horrendously old. Um, and that's mining XMR, and I don't know if that'll focus that close, using Minergate. And I've had a couple of people log on to Minergate with admin at diypowerwalls.com and mined for me, so, uh, and, and mined some um, XMR for me, which is awesome. It was so cool to watch my control panel up in the other shed um, do things, and it's just like I had 20 people mining for me for like three minutes each, and it all helps, trust me, and it's a bit of fun too, so if you want to get on top of that, I would appreciate it. I put a little shelf in here just so I could work, it does make it a little bit easier. Um, a second inverter was supposed to go in yesterday, um, something about projectile vomiting or something stopped my electrician from coming around, but that is happening very, very soon. We've got one mount up here, like I've said before, another mount's going to go there, so 10 kilowatt hours will be there, another one will be going down there, and another one will be going down there, so I'll have 20 kilowatt hours into this shed, which I'm bloody excited about, and my Bitcoin mining rig will sit down here on the floor, and I have actually finally put some fans in so the fans crank some cold air in and, it, and it, even with the Bitcoin miner running with two two old cards running flat out it still keeps the shed pretty cool so I'm fairly happy with that I've got to clean up all this um, now I've only just changed it this morning but that plug there comes up from the bait room so it plugs in to there to the relays and I have been running that for a few weeks now turning the rig on and off as necessary based on voltage. The state of charge thing didn't work out too well and I had to, I, I'll share I'll share the results, I'll, I'll, I'll put a screenshot up, up here of how I set up the Batrium and the, like the settings page to get it to work. I had to actually do the timeout settings to 10 minutes or 600 seconds because I found when it was crossing over the threshold of the voltage and if we had a cloud edge or something like that and the batteries charged back up and went back down and whatever, it didn't work with the voltage. It would be nice to do with the state of charge, but that was even less reliable. So it does work with the voltage and it bloody does work well and it hasn't, hasn't got out of sync, so to speak. So I'm really happy with that. I've also got um, some 12 volt up here. So I've got a little uh, 48 volt to 12 volt and a little bus bar. Now, at the moment, that little bus bar is just powering um, the fans down the bottom. I was having it run off the computer, but I, I'm going to change the set around, so I'm not putting too much effort in it at the moment. And up until an hour ago, before deciding to do this video, it was all up off the ground. I had, had bits of wood underneath it, so it wasn't sitting straight on the ground, which added air flow as well. So I have got one of these Picos now. A lot of views are recommended. So I had a cheap video card on it, oh, like, a, like a really cheap one, and I was hashing at some incredibly small amount but I was yeah I was able to do the CPU mining with it really really effectively so maybe that's a that's a good option now that was 20 bucks or something uh, I got lots and lots of um, old motherboards and stuff laying around so this is the motherboard that I had and I just had a GPU mining just had a USB stick with uh, Windows 7 installed on it booting from that and I well, actually know this one wouldn't boot from the USB stick so I had to have an SSD attached to it but had that plugged in and that run for I don't know a good week and a half without a problem and I didn't even mount it I just used these holes here and then put a put a screw through it and, and just hung it off the wall perfect solution straight from 48 well 48 to 12 volts to this so worked well anyway tubers that'll do for an update if you want to win that let me know how I do it now giveaways don't really work on YouTube for me um, but I'm not going to be using it uh, after I finish this lot so we'll, we'll pass it on to somebody else that can use it and you can even have the hot Asian chick <laughs> tubers I've got to go I'm rambling thank you very much for tuning in I'll see you on the next one